now let's talk about query scopes so i'm in this home page where i'm just loading up some users if i take you to the route we are using this home route i'm just facing users for now we can ignore this i'm doing user get you can do user all so i'm just passing all user to this main dot blade and inside main dot blade i'm just looping through all of the users and displaying them all right so nothing fancy going on yet all right so the idea of query scopes is suppose you want to so only users that are active so where active suppose you have active field on your database let me show you my database my users table so in my users table there is active field so active one meaning user is active zero inactive that's it so now it will just show all the active users just six of them suppose you have to run this query on many places like you want only active user then you have to do this every time right so wouldn't it be nicer if we can just do like active so user active get should get us all the active user but this will not work now because we don't have active method so in order to do that we have to define query scopes so you can think of query scopes like a normal function but that will refactor the query so our normal function will just refactor our these codes but in case of queries we cannot uh, use functions right so we can chain off our query scopes with our model to get desired result so how do we get this result by going to user model and we can define query scopes like this so we have to define normal function but the function name should start with scope so now uh, it will be the query scope so laravel will know okay your function name starts with scope so you are defining scope so name of scope active so scope active and then this function should accept query builder this query and then we can return this query and then we write whatever our query is here in our case it is active equals to one all right so now if we refresh we should get only active user all right so without them we get all the user with it we get only active user so that's the query scope so you can write long query as well here like in our case we have rules table we can also uh, display only the active admins so we defined another scope scope active admins or whatever you want to give the name the name should be start with scope and then so now we can change that where role equals to admin so now we can write active admins and it will only give active admins so admins are only three i guess yeah three active admins yeah two no not three this is inactive so this is this also works so instead of writing active admins i will just keep active and just make this admin all right so that is, that is the better pattern yeah you can do admins and then we can remove this active one so now what we can do here is user active and admins all right so now using two query scopes suppose in some places you just need to display admins inactive so this is more usable than defining the active admins right so make sure you break everything in pieces so that you can use uh, reuse it in anywhere you like so that's the idea all right so
same thing we achieve same functionality if we remove this active we should only get three admins there we go everything is working fine so th that is uh, about query scopes so we are defining scope in our user model so whatever model we are intended to use that query scope we need to define on that model also there is another option you can define it on global level so suppose you don't want to write active and admins or all these um, query scopes you just want to do user get or user first and that should automatically apply all the active and admin query so how do we do that by using global scopes so the way uh, you define global scopes according to documentation it is in two ways you can simply create a a new class we should implement this interface and by applying that interface you should define this apply method and in apply method you can write your query scopes all right so after that you can apply that query scopes in your booted method on your model like this so there is uh, another way to define uh, global scopes without defining new class you can just simply do like this so booted method is called every time you run some query on the model so you can just simply do like this as well so let's see that in action i will just copy that out into our user model so suppose we don't have these for now sorry and we have this scope so by this way we are defining on local level we have to say every time by this we are doing in global level all right so now name of the scope let's say active where active is equals to one there we go now see this so whenever we do user get we will get on the active user let's go to browser and load that and looks like we forgot to import something yeah we forgot to import this builder yeah we need to uh, this import this one illuminate database eloquent builder all right because it is expecting that now it is working it is only pulling in active user we are not specifying that here right so if you don't want this scope to be applied you have to do like without global scopes yeah without global scopes like this so if i want all user i have to do like this without act global scope this one global scope without now i will get all the user right yeah so according to your need you might want to apply this global scope uh, so i generally just do local scope and i find that easier so according to your application you can use these methods all right so another cool trick if uh, you want to know uh, uh, what are the options available on this method or what are other uh, other options or other methods that you can call suppose if i want to make uh, without global scopes like if i have uh, many scopes like you know, whether i can do this or not uh, to find out that you don't need to see documentation every time you can just simply go to so chances are that uh, might not be defined on your documentation so uh, you can directly jump into code so the way you do it like control click if it doesn't do anything just go to user model control click on user model and it will show up user model so all these methods are inside eloquent builder so just control click on this builder and it will take you to the builder class and here if you ser search for without global yeah there are without global scope without global scopes so first let's see without global scope so we have only option to pass string we cannot pass array in this method all right 
So if we want to remove uh, multiple global scopes, we have another method. So by looking at it, this class, you can get to know what are your options. And in this function, we can pass array. Okay, so it will then remove multiple global scopes. So if you have multiple global scopes that you want to remove, just wrap this up in array and pass in multiple items active admin suppose you have this also then you can do like this and you have to do global scopes also you can uh, dive into other methods and see what are the parameters that you have to pass and what it will return yeah just two things all right so hope you learned something about global scopes and i'll see you on next video